Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get two different advancements by crafting and eating an inventory upgrade and an inventory crafting table. Uh, these are both really helpful, and I do recommend uh, using both of these as soon as you can in the game, because it's going to give you a lot more room to work with and make crafting a lot easier for you. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So both of these items are actually edible. They are a cake type item that you're going to eat in order to make them work. And so the first one uh, is the inventory upgrade. That is a diamond, an emerald, a nether quartz, poisonous potato, raw salmon, cookie, ender chest, pumpkin pie, and a regular cake. That's going to give you your inventory upgrade kit. Next is the inventory crafting table. Most of it's the same. It's nether quartz, emerald, diamond, cookie, raw salmon, poisonous potato, cake, pumpkin pie. But instead of an ender chest, you're going to use a crafting table. I'll give you your second one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Now, when I eat these, I'm not. you're not going to see the advancements pop up because I've already got them. But again, I'm just going to show you how they work. So if you eat an inventory upgrade... You eat your inventory crafting table. After you've made them, you will get two advancements. And those advancements are right here. Storage Wars to craft and eat an inventory upgrade. And Edible Arrangements to craft and eat a crafting upgrade, both from the Cyclic mod. Now, what do they do? You go in here to inventory. After you've eaten those cakes, you're going to see two extra buttons at the top. One is a C and one is an X. If you hit the X, you're going to see I now have additional inventory space. I can also wear different sets of armor and switch between them as needed. See this button here, let me switch with the left column, so on and so forth. Here's swap row with my hotbar. I can have a specific set of items here. And by clicking this button, it will take anything in this bar and replace it with these, swapping them out. It's, it's four different rows there. So it's additional inventory space when you're out running around and need some more room, and it's a quick way to switch between different types of gear, weapons, and armor as it may be needed. So that one's really helpful. Now the second one is the crafting cake we ate. That's going to give you the little C up here. When you click on the C, you're going to see that now my crafting area in my inventory has gone from a 4 slot to a 9. You can toggle back and forth. So now I can craft anything that would require 9 slots directly into my inventory. I do not have to get a crafting table or anything. This one is superb. It helps a lot, especially if you're out on the run and you need to craft another tool. Maybe yours breaks or something. You don't want to go all the way back to get your gear. This is an easy way to craft yourself more tools or different things that you may need without having to go back and forth to a crafting table. So I definitely recommend going ahead and eating that crafting inventory cake as quickly as you can. This is invaluable. But both of these can be toggled on and off. Now, even though I've got it on nine, I do want to say that when I back out of my inventory and go back in, it automatically defaults the two by two you do have to increase the size to the nine each time you want to do that um, but again you only have to do it when you need to but that one like i said very very simple but really important uh for progression it's going to help you out a lot so again i re cannot recommend hard enough to go ahead and make those two items and use them as soon as you can uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it let me know if you have any recommendations or suggestions for any other tutorials in Sky Factory 4 you'd like to see, throw those down in the comments, as well as any questions you may have about this one, and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can. Uh, but that's going to do us for this video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Have a great day.